Anandi, uh, can I show, uh, share my screen? Yeah, sure, sure. Can I share my screen? Yeah, yeah. Proceed, proceed. Uh, Ma'am, this was the task uh, to okay. in subcategories. Yeah, yeah. So, ma'am, is this the desired output? Uh, uh, just, uh, ma'am, the category says four. Uh, okay, products. okay. It's, uh, it's perfectly like okay. So, ma'am, is this the desired output? Uh, the, Should I send early, you the, file? the earlier table, that one is the correct one. Yeah. Earlier table, yeah. This, this one? This one, correct. Yeah, it, oh, is showing, uh, uh, it is showing everything now. Nah? Okay. Now, the, the below table, can you please uh, show me once again? Yeah, the product count, uh, subcategory. Subcategory count means the number of uh, products in that particular subcategories. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, like this, uh, just a second. Uh, so the category is twice in game. So it has four under, uh, under products like station, drones, and RCs, yeah. and this game category. And in the further PlayStation, we have seven further categories. So yeah, I yes, uh, yes, calculate right. this sum. I okay. calculated the sum of these four. Okay, both tables are really good. And you please send me that task. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, just wanted to ask one more thing. Uh, do I have to send this table too? Or just I have to send this table? No, you, this programming, uh, yeah, you can send the Excel sheet also because it is mentioned in the task, na? like uh, output Excel sheet should be there like that. Some, some you want this output or this output? This is This big table is enough. Big table is enough. Ma'am, I've already uh, sent the big table as the task one. Um, it was the project one. I've already sent it. it if you wanted your, to. It was your task one. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Project one. Okay. I've already sent that. I have not checked it. I, I will check it right now and I, I will note it down. Okay. Wait a second. Uh, uh, ma'am, I have actually sent to the Chitra sir. Okay. Okay. No issues at all. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, what do you want me to do now? Should I send you the, this task? No, or... Chitransar is already having details. No need to send. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, can you? Yeah. yeah but... oh, send the task. Uh, task this, eight. Is, this is your task seven. Okay, task eight. Uh, uh, first of all, I want to know that uh, uh, have you done uh, task? Uh, I mean, what are the seven tasks you have done right now so that I can assign the task because they are shuffled in different groups. Oh, okay, ma'am. Uh, uh, how should I tell you? Uh, so first task was this one. This uh, um, categories, subcategories, links, and you have to show that. Second uh, task was the digital automation. Uh, oh, sorry, EDA. Third uh, task was the uh, digital automation. And next was the banner. Uh, after that uh, was the... Uh, just a second, ma'am. Okay. Uh, just a second. Yeah. After ED, I've done uh, uh, the uh, automation of the um, page validation. After that, uh, I have done digital marketing automation. After that, I have done the uh, uh, combining uh, 50 word files into subfolders and uh, duplicate. Uh, okay. Separate the duplicate files. And uh, next was the uh, product reply, uh, reply automation validation. And this was the same task, ma'am. Have you done the task related to missing images? Yes. Hello? Yes, ma'am. You have done task related to missing images also. Okay, fake by a task is done by you. Hello? Kanika? Yes, ma'am. Have, have you done fake buyer's task? Yes, ma'am. Fake buyer's fake task? Fake buyer's task? Uh, like international? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay, okay, I will send that to you. What is your group name? I mean, uh, ma'am, data science uh, 30, group 30, data science. Okay, okay. Wait a second. I will, uh, first of all, I will take that task and I will send it back to you. Um,
Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait a second. I, I will come back to you. Okay, in this eighth task, you have to use that uh, same uh, Excel sheet that was shared to you during the EDA task. Got it? Yes, ma'am. I got it. Uh, ma'am, can you just explain the task once? Yeah, yeah. actually here, uh, what is asked, uh, I mean, in order to identify fake buyers, uh, there are some conditions. Like regarding shipping, if the shipping address is different from the billing address, then there is a possibility that it's a uh, kind of fraud. Uh, like uh, uh, the person who is, uh, I mean, the person's address who is actually paying for it and the uh, address to which it is being, uh, I mean, shipped. If they are different, then there is a little bit confusion regarding it. So that's why it comes becomes suspicious. And the other condition is the multi, multiple orders of the same item. Like um, a person is purchasing um, say, uh, same item multiple number of times, like that. Okay. And uh, unusually okay. large orders, unusually large orders in the sense that uh, take the cutoff as 20. Whatever items are having a uh, price more than 20,000, you, I mean, category, I mean, take them in the analysis and uh, other thing is uh, multiple orders with the same address with different payment method so uh, i mean same uh, i mean a person is uh, using both payment method then that also become little bit suspicious okay and uh, unexpected international orders in the sense like your shop is basically an indian company and it focuses uh, common people of india so if un, uh, unexpected orders are coming from international, I mean, different countries, so it becomes a little bit suspicious, like because we are targeting only the people of India. So that's why that okay. also becomes somewhat suspicious. So these are those five conditions which uh, we have to check, right? Okay, ma'am. So basically yeah. you have to um, build the graphs and all. Yeah, yeah, you have to do. Not Yes, same as that of second task, an EDA report you have to generate. Okay, ma'am. Of the fake buyers, only particularly, I, like, first I calculate the list of these fake people and after yes, that yes. I make the graph. Yes, yes, correct, correct. You can use if else statement, for loop and all to do this. Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay ma Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Yeah, anyone... Want to say something? Hello, all. Hello, ma'am. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you are audible. Ma'am, actually, I had asked for the next task. Uh, your group group number? Hello, Nida. What is your group number? It is 34. Am 34. I 34. Okay, you have done how many tasks? Uh, uh, in personal tasks, uh, first four I uh, I was able to solve. The fifth one, mobile number extraction, the price is not. Okay, you need second task, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, wait a second. Uh, in, like, how to submit the task? That also is not clear yet. Like, how should I submit all the things? Yeah, what happened? How to submit the first task? Uh, like okay what all whatever whatever files you have generated like exe file ipy mp file put all of them in a folder and please up to upload that particular folder in your drive and when it will uh, end uploading and all you please open that particular uh, folder and you will get a link in the search bar you share that link with me okay i will send my mail id right now
दिस इज माई मेल आई डी Yeah, yeah. In WhatsApp, I'm I'm searching for that. Actually, uh, you need task two, right? Wait a second. I will I will provide it to you. have you received it i will send the other files also uh, actually this is task 2 so the per personal task was task 1 yeah that was task 1 okay i will send the data set also right now wait a second got it kanika uh, you were asking the question right i hope you got it uh... oh sorry needa needa review data set.csv and orders 20 yeah yes yes correct correct needa yeah, okay. yeah. thank you welcome yeah anyone want to ask something Hello. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Yes. Hello, ma'am. Mr. Singh, this side. Yes, yes. Ma'am, actually, yesterday I have texted you. I, I, actually, I wanted to confirm that I have mailed you the my first class. Wait a second. I will check that one. Ah. Uh. Uh, your name is 
Am I testing? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay. I am one more doubt. Actually, Nitesh, you should send the exe file also. Exe means when? Uh, executable file. Uh, actually, uh, sir may have shared you a uh, video regarding it. How to convert your IPYNB file into exe file? Chitran sir may have said you that. Exe file? Kya? Exe, exe, application file. Okay, okay. Or, you, or you just check out in net that how to convert a IPY MD file into EXE file. They will guide you. You can do through PyCharm or through Windows PowerShell. Many ways are there. EXE dot no extension. EXE. Uh, I will type in what? Uh, chat EXE. Okay, okay, I will understand. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay. I have one more doubt is there. Yeah. Ma'am, the second test that you have assigned us to enter the. Uh, to, to see the customer enter one to see the customer analysis enter two for yes sir. so we have to so basically we have to make a bar plots only now for each yeah you, you have to do visualization plots only like when you are entering, uh, entering one through your keyboard may make a code like that uh yeah like you are inputting some value so correspondingly a code will run and uh, uh, it will generate some graph like that so, ma'am, can you refer us some article like we can put it? Yeah, actually, I can tell you an idea. Wait, wait a second. I will, yeah. uh, I will take that task and I will tell you. Um, not having any article regarding it, but I can tell you the idea that you have yes, to simply use the uh, visualization library. Then you have to import the data set. Then what you yes, have to do is that uh, actually in review data set, uh, I mean, ratings is there in a string format, convert them into numerical format, like 5, 4.9, like that. Okay. Okay, ma'am. And uh, remove the unwanted columns from the data set. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, then ma what how should you decide, ma'am? Uh, on the basis of our problem statement, we should decide. Yeah, on the basis are... of problem statement, you can understand like which column is not required for it. You take only the re required one in the data set. Okay. Then what? Okay, uh, then what you have to do is that uh, somewhere uh, some unwanted symbols will be there. Remove them uh, with uh, and replace them with nothing like that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma uh, and uh, then you can uh, actually use uh, two date time uh, kind of functions in order to do uh, the task related to date time year month and day two underscore date okay. time that uh, particular function you can use which is there in pandas yes ma'am okay and uh, also uh, some other things like uh, okay you you can use some group methodology also uh, and uh, you can use some if else statement uh, like um, see uh, there is one uh, like uh, within int if you are uh, using this input input function you are using then in the, uh, with that uh, you can actually input a particular value in a particular variable like I, yes, I will show you a little bit of the code okay that will give you an idea Wait a second. Yes, like this num input in enter a number. This statement you can okay. use to take the input like one, two, three, you need now. So if uh, the number that you have entered, that is one in that case, this particular code should run like that. You have so, okay. We have to use if elif else kind yeah, of if, if elif that you can use. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So, firstly, we have to clean the data set. Yeah. And after that, we have to make the plots. And after yes. that, we can use it in conditional statements. Right, ma'am? Yes, yes, correct. Correct. Yes, ma'am. And one more thing, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. If I am asking more questions, just yes, one question, ma'am. Ma yeah, yeah. Ma'am, ma we can get tasks related to uh, this Power BI Tableau also. like. No, 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 no. You will get only tasks related to Python programming. Okay, ma'am. For our data science student. Huh? For data science student. For data analysis student, they are getting tasks related to Power BI. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma sure. Okay, then. Right. Okay, Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Okay, bye.
Bye. Bye. So, uh, guys, I'm going to end the status call. I hope nobody is having any issue. Ma'am. Yes, I'm happy. Yes, yes. Yeah, I want to uh, share the screen. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Is it visible now? Yes, yes. Okay. But, uh, I have done that yesterday. No, no, your yesterday. screen is not visible. I mean, you are sharing the screen. But uh, that particular screen, I can't see. Okay, okay, I'll try it. No, is it visible now? Okay. Okay. Uh, next, I have done the uh, this one, different uh, billing and shipping address. Okay. This is the items. Uh, the second one is multiple order of same item. Okay. So this one. But uh, unusual, uh, this one, unusually large order. Uh, this one. Uh, I have just getting the uh, this thing. Uh, problem in the order of same address with different payment method. Uh, getting is... the item. Uh, but, what... uh, this one is that uh, fraud. We have to check the fraud for uh, same address with different payment method. So first, I have uh, done this thing: billing address equal to shipping address. Okay. Then, so this is the uh, uh, set uh, data set loaded. Okay. So it is having two fifty nine. So how like I'm plotting it is getting too big. No, no. Actually, do one thing. Use count plot to take and take only this payment method regarding it. Okay, I just have to count on the payment method. That's yeah, it. yeah. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, and uh, one more thing, I have a doubt. Like uh, when I'm entering this one, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, so I should only have to get the graph, or should I get the uh, Excel wait, sheet? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, uh, by mistake, I told you that thing. Uh, no, don't use the count plot. Wait a second. Uh, Yeah. Uh, can you use a bar chart regarding it? Bar yeah. chart also to, if, because the uh, item name is very lengthy right now. So in the X axis, I can't get the full names. Like it is overlapping everything. That's why I plot in a pie chart, yeah. others also. Okay. Uh -huh. I tried in the bar chart earlier, other graphs also. But the item names is very lengthy. So in the bar chart, in the X uh, axis, it is overlapping. So that's why I try in the pie chart. But uh, this order of a scene, if I'm uh, applying in the uh, this item name, it is getting very... Okay. No problem. Uh, I mean... Uh... If I'm applying in payment method, then it will be like fine. Because there is two payment patterns. Like this kind payments. of chart is also okay. Like you can okay. zoom in also, no? Yeah. Okay. Like this, you can zoom in also. This kind of chart this is, is also okay. fine, ma'am. Yeah, okay. yeah. It is also fine. Okay. Okay. Like and one more thing. See. Okay. And one more thing. When I'm entering this one, enter one, enter two. Yeah. So should I get the Excel sheet together with that? Excel sheet is not required. You can uh, do utilization only. That is enough. So no, you are having the data set now. Uh, other Excel yeah. sheet is not required. Go ahead with the utilization part. So just I have to enter just one. Only I have to get one graph. That's it. Okay. Yeah. 
yeah and uh, like uh, if I, like i have to convert it into excel sheet also in excel sheet uh, all the graph should be in one uh, sheet right ma'am uh, this is enough i mean is it there it's in the question ma'am. is it there in the question that you should generate an excel sheet just a minute Hello, ma'am. Okay. Then it's okay. Then it's okay. It's okay. It's perfectly okay. okay. Problem with it. Okay. So I just have to make the exe file and the py file and send it to you. That thing. Yes. Yes. Correct. Correct. So can you send me the next task? Uh, what is your batch number? Twenty four. Twenty four. Okay. Uh, how many tasks you have done? Three tasks, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Wait, I will I will check that task list. Your batch number is twenty four, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then, yeah. You got it. Um, yes, ma'am. Okay. Go ahead with. It. Okay. okay. So, uh, okay. guys, should I close the meeting? Uh, ma'am. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, Nida. Yeah, yeah, ma'am. Actually, uh, I I don't understand how to uh, like I have created a folder, put all the files there, but that I P Y N B file, how can I put it in the folder? Like, how can I get it from there? You see, IP by NB file you can uh, download from uh, this um, uh, Jupyter notebook, right? Yeah, like, uh, is there any download option you can see upload? Yeah, see? Uh, both are there. I I can tell you. See, like the, uh, if you will click over here, okay. Uh, actually, it's running. Task is running. That is the issue. Here, a download uh, button will come. Okay. Also, get the same duplicate or shut down. I don't know. Wait a Just second. I will show I you. Close I will. That file first. Yeah, you close that file, and when you will open it in uh, Anaconda again, then you will get the at a download option over there at the top. You have to just click the uh, mark the file that you want to download. That just click the checkbox, and you will be able to yes, download. Yes, got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything else, guys? Okay. So I'm going to close the meeting. Um. So, bye all.